Audio Jungle. The Independent National Electoral Commission says it is engaging 23,258 serving and retired vice chancellors of Nigerian universities as personnel for coalition and returning officers in the 2023 general election. Chairman of the commission, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, disclosed this at a meeting with vice chancellors at the National University Commission in Abuja. He said, the 2023 general election with its highest number of registered voters since the inception of democracy, has called for more commitment from all stakeholders to guarantee a credible election. But while commending the support of the Committee of Vice Chancellors and the involvement of tertiary institutions in the nation's electoral process, said the Commission could not have been in a better space to conduct elections without their commitment. Thus, express optimism that with the mechanism put in place, Elections we hold at the stipulated date in all 36 states and the FCT. of results will take place in 8,809 registration areas or wards, 774 local government areas, and 36 states of the Federation and the Federal Capital Territory. In addition, we require returning officers for each constituency. Put together, we will engage 23,258 personnel as coalition and returning officers. And it is for this reason that this meeting is crucial. We need the support of our universities to source the requisite number of suitably qualified academic staff of impeccable integrity who must also understand that this is a core to national service. As in previous elections, we have requested each university for a specific number and category of academic staff as contained in my letter to the vice chancellors. I must warn that staff who are card carrying members or have participated in partisan politics should not be nominated. Similarly, those who may not be involved in partisan politics but are known to have obvious political leanings should not be nominated. Furthermore, those who have been convicted of electoral malpractice must be excluded. The Commission will carefully scrutinize the list which must be submitted confidentially in the manner prescribed in my letter to you. And like all election duty personnel, each coalition and returning officer will swear to an oath of neutrality. And this is a requirement of the Electoral Act 2022. Mahmoud, while addressing the members' concern, further assured them of adequate security before, during, and after the election, in that preparations have been made to guarantee the welfare of election personnel both at the state and national levels. We will ensure your protection both in the roles that we play as returning officers in the various states where governorship elections will hold, as well as the role we are going to play nationally as the scope, the state coalition officers for the presidential election. But we are only one category of election duty staff. We are working with the security agencies to extend security cover to all 10 categories of election duty staff. And I'm sure you are interested in ju not just your own security as vice chancellors, as returning officers, and as coalition officers for the presidential election, but the security of your staff and everybody involved. So I'm to assure you, working with the security officers, will, uh, uh, officials will make sure that all involved in elections are adequately protected. Boss therefore stressed that scrutiny is key to avoid current members who are partisan nor have been convicted of electoral malpractice. The commission determines not only to conduct a credible election but to achieve the best in the history of Nigeria's democracy. Vincent Okushi, KTV News, Abuja.